Okay, so during the replacement of the steppers, the the hole here has to be enlarged, and the motor is going to have to be shimmed out because the couplers are uh, taller. But before I took this side apart, I wanted to just show you what's going to go on here. So we've got this 3D printed piece, which this is just a test piece. The real piece will be a little different. I just want to see how close we are to the hole size. And this piece will get uh, stuck in the hole, maybe taped to this frame. And this provides our pilot for a hole saw. Okay, so now we're getting ready to try to make the larger couplers fit the machine. And you'll see that the coupler won't even go through here. Alright, so what the solution is going to be is we need to find the difference in the height of the coupler. Now the shaft goes into the coupler 10 millimeters. So pretty much if we just sit this coupler beside it, the distance higher than the coupler is what we need to shim the motor away. And so technically the coupler will be sticking out slightly above the hole. So our problem is getting the hole larger. So really we can take the machine completely apart and take each plate, the Z, this whole side plate, which now is my Y, but originally it's the X. And then this whole back plate off the machine and take them to a machine shop and have them bored out. But I want to find a solution that lets me do this on the machine. So now that we know what our offsets are for the motor, we can make some spacers to space the motors off. So now the larger diameter uh, coupler means that we have to bore this hole out. So how do we do that? So what I've done is I've 3D printed some spacers here, or some bushings. And what these bushings do is they drop down into the hole here, and they provide a pilot for this hole saw. This hole saw is slightly larger than the couplers and this cost me $13.98 at uh, Home Depot. Alright so I'll show you the hole saw. I'll just slide this over and you can see that there's about a hundred thou or an eighth of an inch all the way around roughly of clearance once this hole's cut. Plus the, the diameter of the blade so the hole is going to be pretty large that's okay so the little guide bushing here will go in the top and it fits really tight okay so that fits nice and tight and I can't get a shot on the inside but there's just enough room on the inside for the drill bit from the hole saw and when I cut this I'm probably going to exchange the drill bit shaft out of the hole saw for a solid pin so that the uh, flukes of the drill don't try to walk sideways but basically this is going to go up here I haven't uh, cut the pilot hole yet it's it's 3d printed but it's not just final size but basically this is what we're going to have this will come down and cut the hole out when we get done the slug will come out the hole will be larger we'll put our shim down for the motor and the motor will be spaced off so I want to show you why you really want to replace the coupler when you upgrade to the stronger motors. If you watch here, do it one handed here, you can actually see the distortion slightly in the coupler there. 
And you see how easy I'm turning that? It'll twist as well. It'll twist and wind up and release. You can actually see where it's been, see the groove? It's been compromised already. And I've never done any steel on this machine. It's just aluminum. See how tight the gap is here? How wide it is there? So the coupling's already compromised. Okay, so I've got everything laid out here. And I wanted to kind of outline a few things for you. So, there's a couple options you can do here. Um, we're cutting the frame out for the larger couplers. And I've already got the Z-axis done. And I had 3D printed some spacers. But I had questions about them. And so I asked my guy what he thought and he suggested stainless steel spacers because the motors under a lot of stress and I agree you know <clears throat> if uh, if I was confident about it I probably wouldn't ask him so I agree the 3d printed ones are nice it's DIY you can do it at home if you're only going to be cutting plastics and wood no aluminum you could probably get away with these and uh, all three of these took about 10 hours to print there are 60 percent infill but I had my machine shop make me some stainless steel standoffs all right so we have super glued our bushing in place so now it's time to drill this out if you excuse the fan in the background, it's 9 o'clock at night and it's about 85 degrees outside still. So it's pretty hot out there in this little building. So I'm going to, I've got the pin in it. I'm going to drill it about two-thirds of the way through, almost as far as I can go. And I'll reach around and feel it. And uh, the pin has to come out for the last eighth of an inch. But it's, it's going to pilot itself just fine. So anyway, let's get on to the drilling. Keep the WD-40 in it to keep the chips out of the teeth and the liver tape.
All right, there you go. Now we have a total mess, so let me do a little cleanup and assembly, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I got all the stepper motors mocked up. Wanted to give you a quick view of everything. So there's the clearance inside the coupler, the stainless steel spacers. There's the Z-axis. You can see the clearance, plenty of clearance around the coupler. And then here are the machined spacers to fit the pocket. I had to cut 200 thou off the spacers. So that completes the modification of the frame to mount the steppers. This completes the video, I think this is number three, of the CNC upgrade for the 6040. If you like what you see, then please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you look in the video description, you'll see the person who uh, helped me with all of this was Vince at eDealers Direct. I would highly suggest you get in touch with him. He's very knowledgeable and has been helping me through this build. Thanks for watching.